Alright, this is Mike of MikeMartin.co going to try to show you the difference between a heavy network based game like Need for Speed World and how much having a separate NIC card makes a significant difference in performance. A network interface card if anybody knows. I just have a shitty very old Linksys 100TX card. It's tiny, it's simple, but right now I'm hooked up to the motherboard. There's my system if you want to see. Here's the frames. Here's a popular login spot. Alright, I'm at 88. I'm just going to leave it there. So you can see the fluctuation. Hold on. Alright. 116, there's a freeze up, trying to load something, 70, 77, 75, 87, 106. So this is kind of normal. This is where you want to be anyway for input delay from your keyboard or mouse, uh, so you can steer properly. If you get under, I'd say under 100, you're, you're uh, starting to lose proper steering. Um, let's see if I'm going to try to disconnect the ethernet cable while it's in game I don't think it's gonna work I might have to relaunch it blink alright it might have kept it on alright I'm gonna try to so the difference between not having a NIC card or a LAN card and having one is the same difference between if you have a pair of headphones that are not USB and how much higher quality the sound is and it's like having a video card or having onboard video I mean it's it's that much of a difference it takes all the strain off of the motherboard and onto the chip and the chip handles most of the work it's like having I mean if you had a no video card no sound card and no LAN card your motherboard is like one employee basically you hire a video card maybe even two hire sound card hire LAN card and boom, huge difference in, in, in uh, performance and overall quality. Uh, another thing too, helps a huge difference, is a solid state drive. I don't even have a mouth, it's just sticking in there. It's all you gotta do, it's like a little flash drive. So what you end up getting is a little bit better ping time. There's a company that makes a killer nick it's kind of hard to find nowadays but what it is is it actually there's test proven about 30 percent network performance uh, anywhere from 15 to 30 second millisecond drop in ping time and I guess what you what it does instead of the motherboard processing all the data coming in the chip does and it just tells the motherboard what to do it's a simple way of saying it that way instead of the mother door, motherboard doing both jobs and taking a little more time to do them you actually save on overall network lag and system lag. It should log us in at the same spot. Okay, same spot. 122. Let's start driving. 119, 107. 116, 127, 130, 120, 120, 112, 102, uh oh, we almost went under 100. As you can see, we're not going under 100 now. All because of a network card. Now, this is true in first person shooters as well. Depends on what game engine it is. Like Call of Duty games, he's a Quake 3 engine. I this this might be a Quake 3 engine game. It kind of feels like it, but I don't know. But they're heavily like every action in a game is is controlled by a network data basically. So I mean, the faster you can make that run, the better off you're gonna be. So that's it. Small but large. And as again, MikeBarn.co, my free website that I pay for for everybody to use. Thank you.